simply to uh, re-establish uh, justice in order to uh, to express myself freely like uh, the owner here does express himself freely by just letting these houses empty so I took the choice and the freedom to simply occupy these uh, solid empty houses um, I squad because because the people are great because I feel like I'm belonging to something I'm not just living in like a house somewhere with people I don't know or people I might not get along with. Instead, I'm living in a community of people that I like and I know we all agree on the same like principles of living and um, we all are, are respective of each other's privacy and stuff, so I think it's great. <laughs> the obvious reason to squat is because in low-income neighborhood, in, in low-income neighborhoods where they're now just tearing down family houses and putting up condominiums. There's no room for like empty houses to be left open for like three years, four years, or even uh, a year or a few months. So we move in until they're going to do something with them. Although I still oppose the idea of any uh, yuppie condominiums being built in the neighborhood. But I squat because uh, the buildings are open and they should be used for people in transition. And I'm in transition between homes and between jobs. six months ago, like-minded people that I have been uh, probably looking for my whole life. Even though everybody here does their own thing, uh, there's still a solidarity and not wanting to become part of the working class. Because uh, I couldn't afford to eat if I didn't. I couldn't really afford to eat well enough if I didn't. Rents are too high. I don't think I have that kind of perspective on my life to be able to say why I do anything, really. And uh, uh, I met uh, William while I was uh, tree planting in the northern part of this province, and he uh, found out that I was going to Vancouver, and he said, do you have a place to live? And I said, no. And he said, move in here. There's a women-only space. And uh, it was the women-only space that originally brought me to the squats. I was very excited to find a place, uh, a residence that was uh, women-only, and I moved right in. And uh, that's, and here I am today. I was at the camp 
for the uh, Oka Warriors and the crisis there. I was camped out at the art gallery for a month, and I came in contact with a lot of people from the squats. So they came and helped and supported the camp, and so this was an alternative for me. I haven't paid rent in about two years. I squat because I want to squat. Squatting is what I, it's, it has become something that I really enjoy doing, and it's very fulfilling for me. It's very personally empowering. I'm taking control of my own destiny. Um, I also squat because of the broader political picture. The squats have become a hub of political activity here in Vancouver. I feel very at home here. I feel respected, loved, empowered. And I feel privileged to live here. Actually, I'm going to start from somewhere else. And that's from people have brought up the idea of making these places into co-ops and I'm not interested in making these places into co-ops because uh, co-ops are a form of affordable housing but they're not a free space and I'm not interested in being integrated into the system I'm interested in like fighting for our own space and I think this is what uh, it's all about is about free space and having our own space you know, you can live in Richmond and have the most radical ideas, but always be depressed. You know, or you can be in Robson Street and, and be the most radical per person. But just everything around you, like uh, the shopping malls or the people, the way they're dressed, you know, it's all hostile because it's all saying all the values that are applied, you know, in the cars and, and the whole basic physical reality is all saying you're wrong. And it's all saying that your beliefs are impossible and, and that things will never change. And so it's, it's disempowering. And so uh, what we have to struggle for is for you know, our own space, a space that, that implies our values uh, and implies our possibilities. And I think uh, that's what these squats are. Right? You know, like, I've always said that one of the funniest things is that, um, you know, most people in these squats would never call themselves anarchists or whatever, but but the, the basic common sense of everyday life in the squats is, is anarchist, you know, whether people know it or not. And so, and so like, uh, so pe that's what people express, you know, as just basic common sense thing. I think, uh, too, a big thing in for these places in, in developing like a radical movement is the fact that your everyday life is illegal, that your everyday life in a way is um, resistance. Uh, my life has changed in, in that I've really, really seen what it's like to live with people to live in a community and to share with people. And that has really affected my life in how I view the world. Well, I've sort of realized how difficult it is to live with a group of people, but how much it's, it's worth the trouble. Since I've been at the squads, I've um, I've been a lot happier. I've grown to respect myself more. I've had like a lot of um, a lot of help from people to, to like myself more, to, to be more sure of myself, to stand up for myself and what I believe in. And squatting in itself, like the more I squat, the more I'm standing up for what I'm believing in. So it's all just kind of helping each other and making a person feel great. So uh, squatting is the best. <laughs>